There's been no accountability for the people who hurt us. Her operatives are trying to breach the Federal Reserve's gold vault. It could cause a global depression. I want justice. Tell me about Pam. Pamela Hub is not a suspect. Well, she should be. <laughs> Prosecution calls Pamela Hub to the stand? I got it from here. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Marissa Tomei, NBC Tonight. With Spectrum Mobile, unlimited data is only $29.99 a month per line for two or more lines. And unlimited is just the start. You also get 5G nationwide, the most reliable service coast to coast, and this place with all the best phones, best technology, and mobile experts who can answer all your questions. Any question about mobile service? I mean, I already said all, so. Yeah, I can do all questions about mobile. Specialist. I like it. Find a Spectrum store near you at spectrum.com slash stores. Land Rover, above and beyond. This is NBC4 News at 11. Now at 11, a journey stretching thousands of miles to rescue a family from a war zone. A Beverly Hills woman documents her dangerous journey from L.A. to Ukraine and back. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Chuck Henry. We're also streaming live right now on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. It's 8 a.m. Tuesday morning in Ukraine, and the Russian assault rages on. The, the attacks are broadening right now with forces striking in the west near the border with Poland. Families again desperate to get out because living on the streets in Poland is actually safer than staying in Ukraine. One family made it all the way to Los Angeles in a journey that took them through several countries, and they documented pretty much all of it. Robert Kavasik has their story tonight from downtown at Union Station. Robert? Chuck and Colleen, a woman left here almost 10 days ago determined to save her relatives. How can she be sitting down to dinner here, she wondered, when they're starving? Just after the train pulled into Union Station, a mother and child took their first steps in Los Angeles. I don't believe that I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> yeah! Because family rescued family. In U.S. border, this is, was the miracle. Marina Sokolovska moved from Ukraine to Beverly Hills 15 years ago. But when the war broke out and with relatives still in Ukraine, she couldn't stay put. It's not fair. It's not fair to any human. Her brother Roman on the front lines sent her videos of communities destroyed. She translates. Please help us any help. I'm begging you at least for women and kids. Her cousin and best friend, Anna, and her six-year-old son alone in an underground shelter. Maybe weak and no food, no water. That's why, that's why we uh, up and go. They get into a car and escape Kiev. She was literally all the way praying for her life and for the baby. Marina arrives in Warsaw. This is insane how many people but she finally spots Anna and her nephew. <laughs> the celebration in Poland, <laughs> food and rest won't last long. It always was obstacles. We, we just trying to move forward, there's obstacle. We try to move forward, there's obstacle. So many women and children trying to get out, no visas immediately available. They head to Croatia, Budapest, back to Croatia, then Amsterdam. Finally, Mexico. Here in Tijuana, Marina has her U.S. passport, but what about Anna and Mark? Ukraine? They're Ukrainian citizens. I just get my breath and I hold it. But Marina is told... We're going to release them in a moment. <laughs> Believe me, guys. Their long journey is over. Hi. <laughs> a mother taking her child from a home no longer safe. I cry all day. All day, only cry, cry, because I am very cuck, 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 uh, she was scared, yeah. scared. And she fears may no longer exist. Marina still fears for her brother. 